What's up, Guru Gang? Welcome to the Inner Sanctum. I'm your guru. Come on in. Sit, stay, relax, put your feet up, grab a couple snacks, have yourself a hot beverage, your choice, your prerogative. My sanctum is your sanctum. And enjoy my reaction to episode 5 of the Disney Plus Marvel series starring Oscar Isaac Moon Knight. And uh, this episode is... Uh, I don't know what the title is it's for episode 5, but looking forward to reacting to it. And, uh, and so many others uh, are very looking forward to um, uh, watching it as well and reacting to for the other reactors who are reacting to the series so far. And how it ended um, uh, last episode with the episode the titled The Tomb had that mummy vibe, Inception mixed in. Um, yeah, and with the 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 uh, introduction to uh, to uh, Tuat, um, the, the god of uh, fertility, children. I, I believe that's what it that uh, hippo god is. Um, there was a joke, uh, uh, comments in the in a section from other um, for other reactors in which um, people were reacting and memes, of course, when it comes to. Um, uh, the joke of um, that Gloria from Madagascar is a god, um, <laughs> and it yeah, and that's how it ended with um, Mark and Stephen. Um, it could be uh, in, in Mark's head uh, because Mark was shot by Harrow, and um, hopefully he doesn't die because uh, the, the main character can't die in um, their own series, can it? No, I don't think so. So hopefully uh, another personality will emerge, and um, Jake Lockley. So um, Jake um, was in that sarcophagus. I'm assuming, um, we're all assuming, uh, that uh, he was in that third sarcophagus that Mark refused to or didn't want to open up, or Stephen, for that matter. In any case, and in that episode, um, uh uh, Layla was uh, talking with, uh, not by choice, but um, with Harrow about who killed her father, and ended up being that, um, yeah, uh, um, Mark's partner ended up killing her father, and Mark was there, but he uh, he was killed um, by this partner. So that how that's how uh, Mark ended up um, having Conchu uh, as. Um, uh, as the as the voice of Conchu. So, in any case, let's not waste any time. Let's get into the reaction part of this video itself of episode five. Don't know the title, like I said. But before we do, let's get it, um, before we get into the reaction itself. Um, if you enjoyed any of my content, um, whether it be my Inner Sanctum channel or YG Anime channel uh, for all things anime, link it right up. The link is right up there for you to check out, help support that channel. As I am reacting to, um, which I'll be re reacting to soon, the second season of uh, Pacific, Pacific Rim the Black. Also the second season of um, Yashime, Yashime Princess Half Demon. And also um, the, uh, the, the, the anime Demon Slayer, the first season to that. So look out for that on my anime channel. Um, I'll be making some changes on there um, um, as well. Uh, yeah, in any case, um, like I said, if you enjoyed either content for your channel, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and be notified of any future videos being posted on your channel. Like always, all my full-length reaction posted on my Patreon or Rumble. Um, they're all full-length. Um, uh, and you can sync up on your end um, when it comes to the full-length reactions. And um, those uh, two links, along with my social media links, will be posted underneath this video in the description section. And with that said, let's get into episode 5 of um, Marvel's Moon Knight. Alright, here we go. Okay. Metaphor for his own head. This is all your fault! Oh, there's Mark! Mark! I didn't shoot you. Ooh. Your mind is back at the Doctor Hero's uh, office. Tell this episode is asylum. So um, he's in his trapped in his own asylum. His head. Retrace your steps. Tell me, tell me, how did you come to be here today? 
How did you get here? I took the bus. <laughs> the struggling mind will often build places to seek shelter for different aspects of the self from our most traumatic memories. It's called just an organizing principle, okay? Somebody else will see a maze or a library. Or is it a psych ward? Mm. There you go. Yep. Or psych ward. It could be. The new animal character. Um, Gloria? <laughs> From Madagascar? I that really interesting. <laughs> this is before you got upset. You were talking to me about a boy. Do you remember that boy? You think you could tell me about that little boy? Hey, thank you. I feel really great. <laughs> I mean, they must pay you a lot of money. And, and this There's place, Jake. You're really good. <laughs> I tell you what, I feel like a million dollars. Never felt so good. I am not oh, your enemy. No! <laughs> Is he always so intense? To him, yeah, pretty much. <sighs> This is such a game all at the same time. No. Yes, yeah, so, so uh, Hey, great. A second ago, I thought that I'd been shot to death. Oh, gosh. This will really bake your noodle, but I think you were just taking a little time out. <laughs> I'm afraid you're actually quite dead. I'm dead? We're dead? Yes. Yes, Mark, I think she's right. I think we died. It's been a minute since we've had a soul past you here. Um... A polite hippo. Okay. Here we go. Welcome, gentle traveller, uh, travellers, to the realm of the Juat. Juat, the Egyptian underworld. This is Tawerit, goddess uh -huh. of women and children. Mm -hmm. She's guiding us through our journey to the afterlife. <laughs> wow. Okay. Steven's right. still hopping out, even if he's <laughs> considered dead, dead. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man, Dr. Harrow's right. Dr. Harrow. This is an organ. Dr. Harrow. Prove it to you. Go through here. There's going to be a bunch of patients. And there's Crawley probably about to yell, Bingo! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, whoa. I'm not crazy. I'm dead. Where did you say we're going? Uh, we're sending to our route. Uh, uh, to the field of reeds, right, how it? Oh, so he's the smart one. Mm -hmm. eh? Just got to do a quick little... Uh, Oh. oh, taking out their hearts. Oh, I'm in jars. Oh, what she do? Oh, she's weighing our hearts on the scales of oh, justice and the judgment. Of truth. If the scales balance by the time you end the journey, then a soul is permitted to pass into the field of reeds. What if they don't balance? You get thrown overboard. The dead <laughs> will drag you down into the duat, where you will remain forever, frozen in sand. I can't wait to see what says. There's no way we're ending up down there. We're not going to the field of reeds either. All right, what are you proposing? Kill the hippo, steal the bone. Kill the <laughs> um, fellas. It's not balancing out. There's a third. Um, Why is it doing that? Why's third it altar. Uh, Jake I don't Lockley. No, uh, I do not have a card for this. They aren't full. And trust me, I'm a goblet half full kind of gal, but it's like they each feel incomplete. What does that mean? Jake. Without balanced scales. You what will eventually claim your soul. This boat contains all of a life's memories. Now, I don't know what you two guys have been hiding, but my advice, you get in there and show each other the truth. Balance your scales before we arrive at the field of oh, reeds. Oh, going down memory lane. Destroyed. You think Layla's all right? Yeah, for now. And knowing her, she'll go on a suicide mission to stop Harrow herself. Saying there is one hippo and two of us, and this ship can't be that hard to steer, so... You know, find me a rope and and and, and, yeah. and or we can do what she says and like help each other uncover whatever it is that we're hiding apparently. Steven, I don't know about you, but my memories are a freaking mess. Oi, what's this? What are we gonna do here? We're gonna like revisit every single memory I've ever had. Do you remember this? Yeah, I, mean, I don't know, it's just a street. You know, how many streets have you walked down your whole life? Boy's voice. Little boy. Just a uh, Ooh, not good. <laughs> with dead bodies. That's all it is. Goodbye. Come on. New York. 
Mark. No way. Oh, man. Mark's past. No. All of them? You killed all of them? Yeah, his past. They're Mark's past. Criminals, murderers, predators, the worst of the worst. Can't you one of them punish? You remember each person. You tried taking a life. See how quickly you forget? I kept wishing I'd fail. And one of them would kill me instead. Do you see this? Look. It's working. The scales are slowing yeah. down. It's working. Okay. Who's that? Oh, no. That's not good. Or it could be good. Mark. Little boy. Why is there a child in a room filled with people that you've killed? Good question. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, hold on there. Open the door! Mom? Oh. Ready? Ready? Hungry. Roro? Mom, come check out my drawing. He drew the fish with only one fin. Mark, be nice to your little Mark's brother. Mark's pat. I'm not hungry. Wanna go to the cave? We'll eat later. Boys, you've gone too long. Hey, Mark. Keep an eye on your brother, okay? Later, skaters. That's where he got it. I'll be Russell, though. Can you hear that, Dr. Grant? I sure do, Russell. Sounds to me like danger. Mom said not to when it's raining. It'll be fine. Don't be a baby. Hmm. Uh oh, the bones. Not good. Oh, I'm just realizing it could have been a traumatic experience. He lost his brother. Definitely a traumatic experience. Dealing with his past. The funeral, losing his brother. He blocked it out. Yeah, he feels responsible, Mark. And I guess his mom blames him. What are you doing him. here? You were supposed to keep him safe. Stephen, let's go. He let him drown. This is all your fault. That's what uh, Layla was talking about. He's still, in talk, still Stop, talking to your mom. Stop. All the pieces are uh, coming together. The guilt he must be feeling, even to this day. Can't have a birthday without your favorite cake. <laughs> oh, get started on these, okay? You are always jealous of him. <laughs> Mom, uh, it's drinking herself into a stupor. I sh should have known you would do something like this. Always bringing it up. Pull them out. Let me go. Let me back in there. What are you hiding? Mark, son, please come inside. She will get help. Dad, we will fix this. You're supposed to fix this. I mean, why haven't you? I cannot lose another son. Please. It's enough, Steven. Ooh. Oh. Back to the beginning, how it all started, can't you? Harry said you were a mercenary. Mm hmm. That you killed hostages. Turns out going AWOL in a fugue state gets you discharged from the military. I didn't have a ton of options after that, so I went work for hire for my old CO, Bushman. The job was to raid an Egyptian tomb. Called for no witnesses, and I couldn't live with that. Ooh, so, okay. Foolie, they left that. Tried to get them all away. But we didn't make it. What happened to you? Yep. When's the 
Temple, gone to. Oh, he's gonna kill himself. What a waste. Oh, there we go. Get Jake out. Jake Lockley. I did. But this is our only shot. It's where it's gotta be. Get back inside! You don't have long! Get those scales balanced! Look, we don't have to go back through it all again. We can just talk. He's scared of right going back there. Right now, I'll tell you, I'll tell you everything. Okay? I'm just begging you, don't make us go there again. If Layla dies, He's scared. that's on your head. It'll be all your fault. No, you can't. That's true. I won't do it. I won't do it. You can't play me. You can't play me. I won't do it. Uh oh, he's back. Stop it. Stop it. There's so many layers to this. That's absolutely necessary. Very interesting. Do you think you created Stephen to hide from all the awful things you've? That's his subconscious, as Doctor Hero. And in a way, Hero is helping. <laughs> There you go. There can be no progress without understanding. Steven. He's basically fighting with his own self, his own mind. This is my room. I remember some things, but... That's where he, where Stephen was created. It's not mom, it's not my mom. Right now. It's not my mom. There you go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Bloody hell. Look at the state of this place. Created Stephen. And danger is near. Stephen Grant has no fear. You're gonna learn. Oh, no. To listen. To cope with, um, the guilt. I didn't have to make you do this. Let's see what she did. The pain, the anger. The sadness. You're not meant to see, see that. It was all a lie, wasn't it? So what? What does it matter? What, you want to remember the truth? That you had a mother that beat you? That hated you? That, that made your life a living hell? Thinking that she loved you. That she was kind. That she's still alive. Oh, Mama's dead. What are you talking about? She's alive. I speak to her every day. What you Thank you. Let me out, 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 let me out. Hold on a minute. What's this? It's good to see you again. What is this? Is this some kind of test? I was beginning to worry we might never speak again. That's so strange. Little haircut. Little silly tash there. Ned Flanders? Ned Flanders? Simpsons. When you first came in here, I was worried you were never even going to be able to acknowledge Mark. What do you mean? When I... I brought us here? After your mother passed. Oi, don't say that. That's not true. 
That's not true. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Would you, would you like to speak with her? What do we call her? But you don't have a number, do you? Yeah, we have it on file. Well, then let me just get down. He's avoiding the truth as well. Okay, okay, good. Thank you. Oh, please don't do that. It's ringing. Don't bother her, please. Uh, hello, Mrs. Grant. Yes, this is Dr. Harrow. Mm -hmm. When is he going to find here. out? Would you like to speak to your mother? He's got to uh, face the truth. Except the truth. Oscar Isaac is an excellent um, actor. The funeral. Looking from the outside in. Not want to deal with it. He's a broken man. Steven emerges. Again. I don't, yeah. Sorry. This is it. Mom's death and Shiva two months ago. This was the moment our lives started bleeding into um, each other. Milwaukee. Mil All those horrible things that she said to you. She was wrong. It wasn't your fault. I shouldn't have brought him in that cave. I shouldn't have brought him in that cave. Hey, you were just a child. They're helping each other heal. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> Ooh, this episode's heavy. Something's happening. I think we just stopped. Is that what it is? What's happening? I've never seen the gates to the world above so Ooh, close. Not good. I'm so sorry. Your scales never balanced. Our journey's come to an end. They gotta release I, I Jake. Can't stop the inevitable. Oh. Hi. Hi. Come on. New York. Goodbye. Oh. Oh. Alright. Turning that ship. Mark. You've got this. I've got this too. There you go. Woo! Go on, Steven. Home run. <laughs> Ooh, take, taking out some aggression. <laughs> Ooh, not good. <laughs> Steven! Steven! <laughs> hey, he's losing Steven. Occupying knowing the truth. Steven's gone. Well, they're balanced. The scales are balanced. Finally healed himself, in a sense. Losing Steven. Wow. Alright, pretty heavy episode for episode 5, um, titled Asylum. And, um, yeah, after, um, uh, Mark gets shot by Harrow, um, he and, uh, Stephen end up, um, in an asylum of sorts, um, the asylum that is representing Mark's own mind, and, uh, yeah, and, and, and after, um, harrowing escape and releasing, um, uh, Mark, uh, or Stephen from his own tomb, um, and, uh, that, um, heartfelt, um, hug of the two personas meeting within his own mind, um, they find, come upon, uh, Tarwadit, um, the, uh, goddess of women and children, 
as she introduces herself and then uh, informs them that they'll be she'll be escorting them to the afterlife. And um, yeah, this this is a pretty heavy episode, layer after layer of um, of Mark and um, uh, Stephen navigating their uh, in the recesses of um, their own mind, um, basically one mind, uh, two personas and. Uh, Possibly three if um, uh, early on I thought they would release Jake. But there were glimpses of Jake in this episode during that talk with um, Dr. Harrow. And we saw a glimpse of Jake um, emerging. And then uh, in this episode we also find out the truth. Um, what, re what truly happened when it comes to um, how um, Stephen came about. Um, and uh, yeah, it was a childhood traumatic experience with basically Mark um, uh, guilty or having that guilt uh, responsible for his brother's death assuming he's the older brother to the younger brother um, and, uh, and resulted in uh, his death as they both went to the cave and um, that he he, um, he uh, held, held on to that guilt to the point where we also find out that he ends up, Mark ends up creating a Stephen Grant um, from the, the poster, and we saw that transformation, uh, transformation, and it was just instant, just like that. And add to the fact that um, his uh, his father encouraged him during the, the funeral of his mother, um, encouraged him to come inside. Um, but uh, Mark was a man looking from the outside in and he didn't want to too painful for him so he walks away and that too that, that pain was too much for him as he it resulted in breaking him immensely and that's when um steven emerges once again um that first time was uh, as a child um but then now he it, it, it fully emerges um and uh and and once he emerges Stephen automatically just calls his mom, um, and that's a COVID mechanism for uh, Mark, and um, and 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 that and Mark ends up facing the truth, uh, uh, and in a way, uh, Doctor Harrow was helping him in a sense, and uh, in order to face the truth that he didn't want to uh, face, and um, this resulted in. Um, once he faced the truth, that resulted in um, the possibility of um, of, uh, of his persona of Stephen that he created to die off. I'm presuming that he dies off, um, and that and that would lead to um, one persona dying off, one alter of Stephen, and then another merging with um, with uh, 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 with uh, Jake Lockley. So a much more uh, a deadlier uh, um, alter, a persona, a personality. So yeah, um, and with that, uh, with the death of um, Stephen, there's a sense of peace um, within Mark, that knowing and facing, finally facing the truth, um, that he that he uh, was able to uh, uh, that he uh, tried to lock aw lock him, lock away in his memories and emotions, but. Um, he wasn't able to uh, lock him away for long, and and, uh, and th thanks to um, um, uh, uh, Stephen, he was able to finally face the truth. And um, yeah, looking forward to episode number six of um, of a uh, Moon Knight. And like I said, this was a pretty heavy episode, pretty emotional too. Yeah, he had to feel for um, uh, Mark. Um, and all that, that he's been through through his childhood, um, and uh, even as he is growing up um, over time, dealing with those past trauma, traumatic childhood memories, experiences that um, he didn't want to, uh, he blocked from his memory. So, um, yeah, like I said, looking forward to episode six, how he's going to be able to resurrect himself. Um, uh, yeah. Um, pretty heavy. Uh, layers upon layers in this episode. Um, so yeah. So I uh, hope you enjoyed my reaction to episode 5, Asylum. If you enjoyed my reaction, comment below. Share your thoughts. What do you think of this episode? Um, 
if you enjoyed any of my reaction videos to the Marvel series or any of my other uh, reaction uh, videos for Star Wars series, um, 80s 1 Season 1 or any of or that, or my YG Anime channel for all things anime, which I, like I mentioned earlier, I'll make some, make some changes on that. Um, so look out for that. And if you enjoyed either content for your channel, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and be notified of any future videos being posted on either channel. Like always, all my full length reaction videos posted on my Patreon and Rumble, all full length. Um, I'll stick up on your end. Um, uh, and like I said, my, my both my both my links to my Patreon and Rumble will be posted along with other social media links underneath this video in the description section. Where it said. Tip my hat to you. May the force be with you. And until next time for um, episode six of Marvel's Moon Knight. All right, later.